your mama? How you, what do you think about your hair? Oh, you're doing a great job. Oh, thank you, mama. Just like I told you you would do 30 years ago. Yep. Yeah. You are doing a great job. Thank you for coming in this morning and checking it for me and fixing it for me in the back and putting a final touch on it for me. Well, mama, you know I'm still trying to do a good job just like you told me I would. 30 years ago. You're doing an absolutely great job this morning. You still got the touch. Mama, I sure appreciate it because you were the one that taught me how to do what I'm doing right now. Well, Thank you, and I appreciate it. Well, you're doing a great, great job. You haven't forgotten what I taught you. I told you that if you learn it, it'll go with you everywhere you go. Yeah, you sure did, Mama. Mm -hmm. And as a result, now I can help my wife and I can help my daughters, and you taught me how to do that, and I certainly appreciate it, Mama. Well, I just wanted to teach you something that would go with you, so when you got a wife, got daughters, that you would be able to take some of the workload off of them and help them and do something with the hair. I didn't have any daughters, so I had to teach the, teach you what I knew. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I sure appreciate it, Mama, yes. because I can't help but to look back and to see how you bless me and how you've encouraged me my whole life and therefore if it it just teaches me how to be a better man and how to appreciate my wife and appreciate my daughters and and do the things that I do but you are certainly uh, the foundation in in all of this mama yes certainly well the foundation you're doing a great job oh thank you what do you think mom oh you're doing a great job thank you because of that you're gonna make me look 15 years younger. <laughs> thank you. You've done a great job. Oh, uh, thank you, Mama. You're welcome. I You're welcome. You. Yeah. Okay. How does it look for her? It looks good, Mama. You look so, good. So, what do you all think? It looks good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all, this is where it all. Uh, this is where it all started. It. Just I was like this. I was sitting in the chair and I couldn't do it myself. I says, "Okay, come on in and you guys help me do this hair." Right. And so, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, my mom has been a, an inspiration all my life. And uh, definitely was the one that started all this. And as a result, as I said before, you know, my mama taught me how to treat my wife now. And how to treat my daughters and how to be gentle with them and patient with them. And, and understand, you know, try to understand them more uh, so that I could be a help and not a hindrance, you know. And so... Uh, this is uh, certainly where it all started. You guys see Linda, me and Linda in the video now, but this is the start of me and Linda. This is this is what started it all. This is this is this is it. This is the foundation, and this is what I wanted to share with you guys. You know, because just like Linda is encouraging me now, same thing my mama did when I was oh, about eight or nine years old. It started early because we we were there. You know, we had to, to help and to put to input and to, um, we had to help get those things done for day-to-day, day-to-day things that need to yes. operate that need to be taken care of. So this is it. Good morning, <laughs> ain't it? Good morning, ain't it? I couldn't afford to go to the beauty shop because I had the boys. So mm -hmm. why spend the money going to the beauty shop when I could train them how to do hair? Okay. And I'm so thankful to God that he done a great job then and he's, absolutely done a great job now the bible said train up a child in the way he should go and when he's old he will not depart from it you're teaching something that will go with them not only in their youth but into life and as i see him and linda on that video i get a self-gratification knowing that i taught him something that would help him and look to more he's done a great job i'm like linda you're doing a great job <laughs> I still got it. I still got it. So, yeah. we, so we thank you guys for, for joining in with us this morning. Mm -hmm. Keep us in your prayers and, and have a wonderful, absolutely blessed day. Absolutely. So in Longview, Texas today, be at my mom's church uh, this morning with my cousin, Bishop Wynn. He'll be preaching. I'll be singing this morning at Longview, Texas with Ruth Lynn, uh, Victor, Victor Temple Faith, yeah. Faith Ministry, 107 Ruth Lynn Drive. And I'm like, Linda, pump, pump the, the hearts, heart. pump, pump those hearts, heart. pump, pump, pump those hearts, heart. heart. pump the hearts. Yeah, so we'll be there. Then I'll be at uh, Stanmore Funeral Home singing at the uh, memorial service 
uh, that's dedicated to uh, all of the families of the uh, remaining family of the, the individuals that he's he's uh, cared for during the course of the year. So that'll be at three o'clock today. And so I'll be uh, ministering in song over at Mr. Stan Moore's. And, and this morning, I'm going to take my mama and, and Bishop uh, Wynn out to breakfast before we go to church. Where are we going? Waffle House? We're going to the Waffle House. One out there on 4th Street? One out there on 4th Street. On 4th yes. Street by Walmart. So I'm going to take my mama and my cousin to get some breakfast this morning. So we're just thankful. Lakeisha Cub Pepper, I love you, wife. I love you, honey. I miss you guys. Miss you, Linda. You guys be blessed, and be sure to watch the video from the beginning, so I think it's pretty key. All right, Carolyn, come All to right. the Waffle House. Come to the Waffle House, Carolyn. Yeah, we we'll love you. We we'll love you. We're in a few minutes headed to the Waffle House, and anybody else in Longview that see it want to join us, that's exactly where we're going to go. Yep, we're going for breakfast, Nick. Yep. Got to go now. Got to go now. All, All right. right. Have a good I, day. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, for guys. Bye. Bye-bye.